You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. visionary dreamers how is everybody doing on let's talk sunday i know y'all counted me out i know y'all counted the sister out i'm so way late today today um i'm not even going to talk about the excuse (laughs) just late okay i just i'm just late today but anyway so since i am just going to get right down a topic to you newcomers out there i just want to welcome you Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living Podcast Show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life, us extraordinary folk doing the damn thing the best way we can. And you are, and I am your host, Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bullshit, y'all. And yeah, today's topic is move beyond ancestral i might say that word wrong (laughs) today is not a day for me but move beyond ancestral patterns and create your own move beyond them the patterns that your ancestors have set and um stop believing that you have to take on those same traits now i told y'all i had to take speech class But uh, this is what was on my spirit to talk about today, okay? Um, As I said, I noticed that I kind of, when I look back at the shows, I see a little pattern as to the the message um, that my spirit wants to speak to you, or not my spirit, but that God wants to speak through me to you. I'll say that. I always invite, invite, you know, the higher sources in. Let me be a channel to speak the message that y'all all all need to hair that y'all all all might need a little push or motivation or encouragement about so that's that's what it's all about and um yeah I think a lot of us we take on including myself for a moment you know we take on um traits of our ancestors or patterns that our our ancestors have um set forth and if you don't know and and this is not like you know, some people just don't know what I'm talking about. Your ancestors, the people that have passed away, you know, your grandma, great, great, great grandma, grandpops that you never even met. You know, there are things that um, are in your family that, you know, you might be doing or that I have done that is pretty much a cycle that your family um, does, that people in your family do. And they left and it still continues on, you know, even with, you know, you might hear people every now and then that might say, uh, yeah, you know, my mom, my dad, you know, they had cancer at 60. And so therefore when I turn 60, most likely I'm going to have cancer because it's just in my family, uh, DNA bloodline or whatever. So it's inevitable that I'm going to get cancer at 60. You know, you hear people say things like that or you hear people say, you know, um, well, you know, my mother was abused and therefore, you know, this is why I I face abusive relationships. You know, these are things that we have the power to break at any time. These are the cycles we have the power to break at any time. You know, you might hear families talk about how. You know, no one never made it. You know, people have maybe some people in your family did uh, work at entrepreneurship or work at some type of artistry, you know, rather be singing, dancing, art or whatever. And they wanted to make it and they never made it. Um, And so you feel like, okay, this is why I'm I'm failing and why I can't make it, you know, or someone smokes in the family or drinks a lot in the family, you know, your grandpa, your great, great grandpa, they used to drink, they used to smoke. So, you know, you feel like, okay, this is just in our family. This is what we do. Or either, you know, thinking back to a young lady I talked to, everybody in the family served in the, um, 
in the service, you know. So she felt like she was young. She felt like that was just the thing to do because her mother, her dad, everybody served in, you know, in some type of service, rather be the Army, the Navy. So she felt like that was just a pattern that she needed to follow, you know. So I just wanted to throw out a, a few different scenarios so you could look at this from all angles. You know, you might be facing something that is a family um, trait, a family pattern. And I don't even know if I'm saying that word wrong. I mean, right or wrong, because my son be getting on me about certain words. But anyway, you might be following that trait in in just unaware of it because it's just a natural thing. This is what you saw growing up in your household. This is how you saw um, your mom, your dad do things. So you think that this is the way to do it. But in your spirit, you feel something different. In your spirit, you feel like, no, I don't feel like this is how I should do it. I feel like I should do this another way. I feel like I should go at this um this thing this relationship this job this career whatever it is you feel like you should go at it a different way than your um ancestors your the people that have came before you and set some ground um in a different way and because you feel like you know you got a different feeling Sometimes your family might look at you in a different way, rather be good or bad. You know, sometimes they might look at you as being weird because you're not following, you know, the, the you're not following the standard. You, you're going outside the box. You know, you want to move out of state. You want to move out of the country. You want to move out of the neighborhood and your whole family. That's all they know is the neighborhood. That's all they know is the city that you grew up in, the house that you grew up in. That's all they know. But in your spirit, you feel very strongly about doing something different. You feel like, you know, if you do this different thing, maybe your life will be different. Maybe you won't repeat the same type of lifestyle. Maybe your life might go a little further than the people before you. Well, I'm here to tell you that it is true. It is true. If you feel in your spirit that, you know what? This is not for me. You know, I, I had a friend. Matter of fact, I had a couple friends that um that don't drink and or never smoked or never smoked weed, never smoked. You know, we just simply have conversations about things we did when we were younger and, and of that nature. And they would tell me like, you know, I can recall maybe three different people throughout my life that I know um, that never drank or smoked. And their answer to my question when I said, you know, well, why you don't drink? I'm just curious to know. I'm not, I'm, I feel good when people have that control and that discipline um, to not drink or smoke or things of that nature. But, you know, curiosity wise, I like to know why people um, don't do what other people do. <laughs> and I can really say like all three of the answer was the same. It was like, I watched my family. I came from a family of people that were on drugs or people that drank a lot or people that smoked cigarettes and everybody ended up with cancer. And I just didn't want that for myself. And so I decided that in order for me not to have that for myself, I have to do different. And I was like, well, you know, okay, that's what's up. You know what I mean? Um, and it's the same thing with people that in your family that might have had dreams and visions and they tried it and, and, it, and it didn't um, take root. And they gave up before they even got started. They gave up after the first couple of tries and they just didn't have the strength in them to go to go further. But you, you are the one in the family that actually can make the difference. You are the one in the family that... And maybe God called you to change that family cycle, to change that pattern that has been going on for years and centuries. You are the one that's called upon and and you just don't realize it. Um, and it could be it definitely can be a scary thing when 
you realize that, you know what, you're wired a little different than the rest of your family. You want more for yourself. You want something different for yourself than the norm. It can be fearful. It can be a little scary because it's like, you know, you, this is unknown to you because no one else in your family has embarked <laughs> upon the journey that your spirit is filled with. Your spirit is um, weighed down with to go out there and to do, to explore. When we don't have the examples in front of us um, from our immediate family, that's what makes it a little bit more fearful. And I'm praying that this mic is not cracking because I'm using my cell phone today. Um, and when I use my cell phone, I, re I can't hear. So I apologize if it is. I think I adjusted it. So anyway, um, yeah. So when we don't have examples in front of us from people that we are close to, um, I'll say successful examples, it can really be a little fearful. You know, you can you can become fearful rather um, because you don't have no examples to go by, you know, or you have the examples to go by and the examples that you have to go by are not good. Let's say that they didn't end up too well. So therefore, that even sets a little bit more fear in your heart. If you come from a family that um, they they had bad relationship after bad relationship, bad marriages after bad marriages, you know, um, then that can be a little fearful for you to embark on something like that because you will think that just because all of your family, you know, had bad relationships or bad marriages, it's not going to work out for you. But why would you think that way? Everybody, we are all individuals, guys. We are all individuals and we all have our own journey here. And it's really up to us in our mindset as to how things work out. It's really up to us as to how we are going to be honest with ourselves and look at us and see how we can go at a situation differently. Like look at your family members, look at your close friends and see to yourself, like ask yourself, where do you think they went wrong? And it's not even that they went wrong. But where, why do you think they gave up or how is it that you could do, that you could do things differently that it would turn out differently for you? A, a situation would turn out differently for you. You know, we look at not even just our family and friends, but we look at society, we look at media and we look at, um, people come on and talk to us, um, through media. And this is why I don't really watch TV, tell a lie. Tell, tell, tell a lie vision, tell lie vision, <laughs> tell a lie vision. <laughs> um, but this is why I don't really look at it as much, you know, cause I don't want things to get in my spirit that is untrue. Even when it comes down to music, you know what I mean? Music can fill us up with things and, and, and make us feel like life is just one way, you know, when we don't have a variety of music in our lives. Things like that, all of those things come into play. And as far as us making decisions to our path and what we want to take on and what we um, decide to shy away from, we have our own journey, guys. God has instilled a different path in each and every last one of us. God has instilled ideas and dreams and visions in each and every last one of us, but he has, or she, mother God, father God, you know, has instilled some of those same visions in other people. It's almost like, you know, uh, a, a, just a big, uh, bucket of dust coming down or, you know, um, I don't want to say dust. I want to say, um, okay. Like, you know, when it's snow, it's, it's individual snowflakes. It hits your face. It hits everybody in different ways. You know, I don't know if that's a good example. That's just what I'm going around with. Okay. <laughs> but the snowflakes just hit us all. And so what if the snowflakes, when they hit us in the winter time, or what if the rain drops when they hit us, when it's raining, what if they are filled with visions and dreams and ideas? That would mean that it hits us all. You know, anybody that's outside at that time, they're going to be hit 
by a raindrop or a, a snowflake. Rather, it's on their arm, their head, or whatever. And what if it's packed with ideas and visions and dreams? And when it hits you, it just it, it activates something within you. You get what I'm saying? But only the people that's really in tune and that's really receptive to receiving dreams and visions and ideas and that's ready to do something different with their lives, only they will be able to catch it. Only they will be able to acknowledge that vision, that dream that hit them from that raindrop or that snowflake. And they will be activated. But all the other people that's not willing to go the distance, that's not willing to leave the family cycle or the family, do something different with their life or, you know, work at something different and leaving a and, and setting a different tone for themselves and starting their own legacy. Because we all individually make our own family, you know. Um, if they, the people that don't, they're not willing to do that, it never gets activated. So it's like they never even had the idea or the vision. They don't even realize that they had that same idea or vision that uh, that a doggone, um, you know, what's his name? Mark Ziffenberg um, or, um, um, dang, why am I, I'm just lost right now today. My brain is just kind of cloudy today. <laughs> but uh, Facebook or uh, Apple or, you know, or uh, Microsoft, any one of those, um, people that develop those things, those ideas, there are other people out here that had some of the same ideas, including me, believe it or not, (laughs) but yet maybe didn't have the resources. Maybe it just wasn't time for them, or maybe they gave up. Maybe they just gave up because they just didn't believe in themselves. Maybe they didn't believe that because they didn't have the right resources that it was impossible for it to happen for them. Or maybe they had the right resources, but maybe they just didn't have the finances in the time that they thought of the ideas. Maybe it was some things that they still needed to go through in life in order for those dreams and the visions to be activated. Maybe they weren't prepared. They thought they were, including me. When I say they or you, let's say you, let me stop saying they, but you, 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 the listener who, who is listening right now, maybe you didn't think that when the dream or the vision or the idea or the goals filled up in your belly and in your spirit and in your heart came along, maybe you didn't think you were capable because you didn't have the resources or because you didn't have um, the finances that you thought or that you think you require for this to come to pass. Because again, you are looking back at what has already been accomplished or hasn't been accomplished in your family and your close net of friends. See, so this is why we got we have to learn how to gain self love. We have to learn how to sometimes cut the cords on those who are holding us back. When you really, really look at your life and really be honest with yourself and ask yourself, where did I go wrong? Or why am I in this position? Or Who is it in my life that when I'm with them, I'm not at my best potential? When I'm with them, I'm not um, motivated. Or when I'm with them, I'm doing things out of character that is not healthy to my growth. Let's say that, you know. When we look at that and we start being honest with ourselves, then and only then we can start cutting cords, you know, if we want better, if we want to do better, you know, if we want more for ourselves. Those are the things that we have to do, you know. Um, when you know there are people in your lives that when you're around them, they do make you want to reach for the stars. They do make you feel 
greater than ever than you ever felt. They do make you feel like you can conquer the world, but yet you choose to be around people just because of bloodline, just because of um, years that you've known that friend or had that friend instead of being around people that you know can push you further that you can relate to and that will believe in you and cheer you on to the path of breaking your cycles of breaking the family um, negative bloodlines, let's say that, and starting a whole new one for yourself, that's when you you just got to, that's a part of your, you know, self-love. That's a part of being honest with yourself. And a lot of us are scared to do that. A lot of us are scared to go after the things that we know, we know are good for us to go after, go after the things that we know can enhance our lives or enhance our company or our idea or our dreams and our visions. We're just scared. We're scared. And why? At the, at the end of the day, why? I mean, if you really be, Honest with yourself, why are you scared of breaking the patterns? Are you scared that, you know, your family is just not going to want anything else to do with you? Are you scared that your friends are not going to? Are you scared of losing friends? Are you scared of losing family? Is that what you're scared of? Because if you are, then you're doing yourself a disservice. I'm here to tell you, because... God has filled me up with so many gifts and so many talents. This is what I had to face throughout my life, all my life. I had to get to the point of letting go of people and things and habits that no longer serve me along my journey. You know, people, things, and sometimes family, not I'm not going to say, like, cut the cords to the point that, oh, you can't talk to your family, you can't talk to your friends. But, I mean, unless they're just really toxic to you, yes, definitely, regardless of who they are. If they're toxic to you and they put you in a bad space, you definitely got to cut the cords, period. And you can love people from afar. That's that's just life. You know, everybody's not meant to go on your journey. Some people are meant along your journey for you to learn from, for you to grow and and to to show you who you are, to show you the things that you need to um, work on within yourself, you know? So I feel like the course that I have cut in my life, um, that's what it was. That's what it was. Uh, you know, the journey, it just, the buck stopped there. You know what I mean? I can have love all day for the person definitely. And still can have love for the person. But if, if you're not meant to go on a journey with me, if you're not on the same page, if you know, I'm I'm reaching for the stars. I want better for myself. I want to see let me let me just say this. Let me just say this, okay? The purpose of life, guys, is for us to evolve. And what I mean by that is is for us to do better than the last group of our bloodline. If we don't do better, then this world won't get better. This is some real talk, y'all. If we don't do better, then this world will just be stagnated because we choose to continue to stay in the cycle with our family and our friends. And we don't choose to make a difference within ourselves so that we can make a difference within this world. We choose to stay in our comfort zone because it's just that. It's comfortable. (laughs) You know what I mean? But even in our comfort zone... It can get uncomfortable, (laughs) you know, and I'm sure a lot of y'all know what I mean out there. We're all going to go through some things in life. Life is not always going to go as we plan. And I'm here to tell y'all, I know, I know, I know. Trust me when I say I can have the master plan, but that master plan is not God's plan. And it's not the timing that God has me on. And although we are And we are the creators of our reality. It is our reaction to when things don't work out the way we want it to work out. That's going to create our future. Sure, we can have our moments when things don't go right. 
when things don't go as planned. And trust me, I had a lot of them. <laughs> but the whole thing is this. To whom much is given, much is required, as I said on my last show. And sometimes some of us is a lot of things that's going to be given to us. And because of that, there's a lot of things that's required of us, which means that we have to go through more obstacles and more struggles than some of our other family members that don't choose to activate that snowflake or that raindrop filled with the dreams and the visions that God instilled in it. You get what I'm saying? And this is why, you know, it can be lonely. It definitely can be lonely. Trust me, I get I get lonely sometimes because of the fact that, you know, I have these visions, I have these dreams, I have um, knowledge that I have learned throughout the years and a lot of people that sometimes people are not on the same page and they don't get me. And so they don't get why I can, how is it that I can be by myself and be happy? (laughs) I'm not saying that I don't want companionship. That's, that's a lie. (laughs) But what I'm saying is, you know, I could do bad all by myself. Let's say that. Let's say that. If I know that Rather it's a relationship, you know, with an intimate relationship or a relationship with like friends or whatever like that, or with family members, if I know that, okay, they don't get me, then I just, I just got to go at it alone. I got to go at the idea, the dream alone until I run into folk that are on the same page. Everybody's not going to be your family, your friend that is a part of your dream and your vision. You need to get that. You need to know that. Okay. Your family, your friends can't always be a part of what it is that God placed on your heart to do because they're not going to get it. Everybody's not going to get it. And that is, you you shouldn't feel bad about that. You can't feel bad about that. You can't feel bad about people that don't get you. Is it disappointing? Is it, you know, sometimes it can be painful. Sometimes it can hurt you. Yes, because you want everybody that you love to to be on the journey with you. You want everybody that you know you you thought with your friends um to be on this journey with you. But the fact of the matter is this when you're on the journey to pursuing your dreams, your visions and your goals, that's when you find out. That's when you really find out and it might hurt who is your true friend. Who really has your back because When you start getting on your journey and things start going well for you, you will find that some people that you thought was your closest friends is your biggest hater, is is the most jealous of you, you know? But all the years that you've known them, you like, no, this is my dog, this is my homegirl, this is my homeboy. Like, they was there for this and they was there for that. And how can this be? But secretly underlining in their spirit, they never wanted you to make it over them. Or they never wanted to see you go further before they got there. You know? And it's sad. It's sad because we all have our own lane in this world, in this time-space reality. But that's the fact of the matter. That's some facts. That's facts, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. I've had friends for like 20 years that I thought was really, really, you know what I mean? my, my home girl, my home boy. And I find out, you know, when things are going my way or when something happens, I find out that really underneath it all, they really didn't want to see me make it before them. And it hurts. It does hurt, but you get over it because you realize that, you know what, they got their own path and they have their, their own stuff that they have to grow from. They, it's not, You know, it's like when I say don't take people personal, you know, everybody has their own journey. Everybody has their own issues. And it's not for you to take that and say, you know what, I hate them or, you know what I mean? It's just me, what I've learned to do, I just keep it moving. I'm serious. Like I don't even, I don't even confront it too much. I just keep it moving because I feel like this. Once you discover and once you know in your spirit that 
this so-called friend or family member really didn't have your back? That they really, they had your back as long as you were equal with them. They had your back as long as you were, as long as what you were doing was, I don't want to say beneath what they're doing, but I guess that's the only word I could find right now was beneath what they were doing. That's, oh man, you you were they boy, you were they, they home girl, whatever. As long as you were not going further than them. Even in relationships. I've been in relationships where the dudes just like didn't want to see me shine. You know? It, it was crazy because it's like, dang, okay. I'm I'm encouraging you, but you can't encourage me. You know, and I, for real, for real, I think it was really only one one person. That was my son, father. <laughs> I can see that. But I realized, like, yo, this dude, he is really hating. Like, anything that I do that's shining, like, he hating. You know, it, it, it's crazy how that goes. But sometimes it could be your own mother, your own daughter that don't want to see your own son, your own father that don't want to see you Go further than them instead of blessing you and wanting and cheering you on to change what the family has been so used to. You know, that's crazy, but it's true. Like I always tell my son, I always tell him like, yo, listen, I'm giving you the blueprint to my victories and to my failures. So that you can know how to navigate in this life. So that you can create your own lane and you can go further than I ever went at your age. I want you to be so past, you know, where I was at your age and and where I am at this age when you get to my age. Because that's the only way you're going to change cycles within our family bloodline. It's the only way that when you have my grandkids and stuff like that, that they can do better and they can know better and they can go further and they can go even further than you. That is how we are supposed to think, guys. This is how we are supposed to push each other. This is how we are supposed to encourage and motivate each other. Do the damn thing. That's why I say that in the show all the time. Do the damn thing the best way you can. Because that's what we're here to do, guys. We are here to do better. If we don't do better, then guess what? If Steve Jobs didn't think outside the box, and I know I use him a lot, but, you know, come on now. We got to admit, Apple just changed. It just changed the whole. It just changed so many dynamics as to how we do things. You know, the Internet, if if the the person that didn't think of the the person that thought of the internet if they wanted to stay within their the 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 standard of their family um dreams and visions and whatever their family was doing then guess what we wouldn't be able to use the internet this is why we got to start breaking breaking these patterns in our family bloodline this is why we got to start standing up for our ourselves and making creating our own lane so that everybody that comes you know the next generations that come after us can have that encouragement wow if uncle so and so if aunt so and so did this and they're they're the only ones in the family that were able to do this then i can do this you know Because it's a domino effect. Once you start doing things, it's going to trickle down to your bloodline. And then everybody else is going to get encouraged to start wanting their dreams and their visions to blossom. It might not be everybody, but at least you might be able to um, touch three people in your family heart to dust off their dreams and visions and go at it. You never know. But you have to be the one. To take those steps to go further than your family and your friends. You have, if you feel it in your spirit, if that's, if you're listening to this show right now, then obviously you are the chosen one. You are. Because only people 
that want better for themselves listen to my show. Only people that have dreams and visions that they feel like, you know, they can do better at or they need a little bit extra encouragement or motivation. Um, they might feel stuck or they might feel like they in their own way. That's who my listeners are. My visionary dreamers out there. I know. I know. I've been there. I've done it. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I just I just choose to, you know, be alone if I got to be alone in this in this journey. You know, God wants somebody to come along and do it with me. I'm so receptive, but you know, they got to be ready for the journey. They got to be, you know, fearless. They got to feel like they they're limitless, you know. There's no limitation on them and on their lives. They got to be ready cuz I'm ready. You know, <laughs> so this is uh, the message that I had to give to y'all today. And I hope that it resonated with you guys. You know, I love you so much. I know I just kind of came on because I was late, but um, I hope that each and every last message that you listen to, that it resonates with you. I mean, I have family members that I love that I don't want I don't want y'all to think that I don't have family that supports me. I do. I have my brother support me. You know, I got, you know, some nieces, nephews. I man, listen, I have family members, some cousins that support me. But what I'm saying to you is that I have people that don't. And so for those people that don't, I do have people that do. And so you have to make up in your mind that you want to hang uh, with the people that do, you want to be around that type of energy, because as long as you're around energy of people that don't want more for themselves, then guess what? You're going to seep into that energy. Eventually you're going to start, you know, mimicking some of those traits and you'll slowly start feeling like your balloon is just going down, you know, slowly, you slowly starting to lose air and oxygen to your dreams and your visions. You got to get out there, guys. You got to get out there, meet new people. If you don't have anybody in your surrounding area, if you don't have family members that support you, that are cheering you on, you have to break free. You got to get away. You got to get away, guys, and and follow your dreams, you know, because if you're listening to your show, to this show, that means that you are meant to do the things that you have on your heart to do, but it's just going to take you to get out your own way. It's going to take you to, as my cousin said on um, the show, um, when you dream it, believe it, it's going to take you to get over yourself, okay? Get over your pride and your ego. It's going to take that to, to be humble, humble yourself and know that this is a journey and it's not always going to go the way you want it to go. But you is your reaction to when things don't go your way and how you think outside the box to get back on track for things to start going your way. Okay. Um, yeah. Cause as my son always says, just do it. And there's going to be other people, like I said, that's going to have the same dream of vision and they're going to do it. And you're going to be looking around like, Oh my gosh, I should have did it. Oh my gosh. They're making millions. Oh my gosh. They're so successful. And, yeah, yeah, I've done that. I've just stopped on certain dreams and visions, and I see it in the store, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I could have been rich by now. I'm already rich. I'm already wealthy. I'm wealthy in my health, in my mindset, in my spirit, you know. Um, but what I'm saying is tangible money rich. Let's say that because just no rich doesn't mean just money and material things, materialistic things. It means your health as well. It means your your right mind and your spirit and your soul being rich, you know, being pure. So I'm going to leave y'all with that, guys. Um, yeah, this this show today, yeah, I hope y'all got it because I was just real on, on my chill mood, <laughs> doing some writing and stuff like that. My computer was just acting real crazy, and that's kind of why I was late because it just didn't want to, I don't know, it, it was just on this. I don't know. I was just doing some other stuff, so I had to switch to my cell phone at the last minute. Anywho, I will talk to you guys next Sunday. And just keep, you know, make sure that you subscribe to Chronicles of Living uh, YouTube channel and hit the notification bell because, like I said, I am. 
I am. I'm going to be uploading some videos. Y'all just best believe I am. Okay. I'm worth waiting for. The message is worth waiting for. The things, the videos that's going to come your way, they're going to be worth waiting for. So just make sure that you subscribe to that. And um, thank you guys for supporting me as far as my books. You know, Visionary Dreamer, um, 90 Day Journal, and Transform Your Life, um, the Visionary Dreamer Workbook. On Amazon and Barnes and Nobles dot com online, you could go purchase that. Just type in my name, um, April A D I O N N E, Williams. Just type that in, and my books should come up. They should come up. Okay, definitely keep emailing me, and um, I love you guys. Just keep giving me the feedback. I love, love, love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say today. Peace out, guys. Love and peace and hair grease. Deuces. See you guys. I mean, talk to you guys next week. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com. Until next time, this is Adion, your dream pusher. I love you guys.